Hello friends, welcome to the electronics channel. Today we are discussing the base bias with collector feedback. Previously you've seen that the base bias that is the fixed bias and base bias with emitter feedback. Okay, so let us see the collector feedback bias. And in this collector feedback bias, let us draw the circuit diagram for the collector feedback bias. This is the transistor, that is the NPN transistor. Okay, this is the emitter, base, and collector. Now, let us connect one resistance, that is the resistance to the collector. This is the resistance connected to the collector and another resistance which is connected to the base okay and here the emitter is connected to the ground and this is the VCC that is the power supply this is the RC means the collector resistance and the current flowing through this resistance is IC plus IB both the currents are flowing through this same resistances okay and this is the base resistance rb current flowing through this resistance is the ib now here this is the point where we connect the base resistance rb and this is known as the vc okay vc is the collector this is the collector of the transistor and the voltage at this point is the vc and current flowing through the transistor is the IC and this is the voltage between base and emitter PPE okay and here as you see in this figure instead of connecting this resistance to the VCC we are connecting connected this resistance to the collector of the transistor okay so the voltage RB derived from the collector of the transistor and this creates the negative feedback effect which helps stabilize the collector current and against the any change in the beta beta means what beta means the gain current gain of the transistors if due to the any reason if the there is the changes in the beta this feedback resistance or the base resistance helps to stabilize the collector current. If the beta increases due to the any reason, this can, if the beta is increases, then IC is also the increases. And as well as the IC is increases, the voltage drop across this resistance is increases. That is the RC into IC increases but this voltage decreases that is the vc because the voltage from this point to this point is the constant vcc to the ground is constant and if this voltage is increases therefore naturally this voltage is decreases means the vc is decreases and when the vc is decreases then this current that is the ib decreases okay and when the base current is decreases current going through this resistance is decreases because the voltage drop across this resistance is decreases that is the rv into ib decreases means ib is decreases when the ib decreases then the collector current is decreases because this collector current is depends upon the base current means the input current if the input current is increases naturally the output current is also the decreases and if IC is decreases due to the IP, then this any change in the beta remains uh, comes to its original value. So, this is the advantage of the collector feedback bias. Now, let us find out the saturation current IC, and you know that when the transistor is in the saturation then the voltage drop across the transistor is equal to zero that is 
voltage from collector to the emitter is equal to 0 that is the VC is equal to 0 here the VC is equal to 0 and therefore if uh, if the VC is equal to the 0 therefore this collector current IC is, can be written as VCC divided by RC second point is let us find out the VC this is the collector voltage and therefore here the VC is equal to this voltage VCC minus the current going through this into the resistance and the current going through this resistance is IC plus IB into RC okay so VC is equal to VCC minus IB into uh, sorry IB plus IC into RC and here the IB is very very small in comparison with IC therefore we can write VCC minus IC into RC and here we can find out the VC in another way also okay and this VC is equal to IB into RV plus VBE VC is nothing but the voltage from this point to this point okay from collector to the ground and from the collector to the ground there is another way also this is the I B R B voltage drop across this and voltage drop across this. So V C can be written as I B into R B plus V B E. Okay. Now let us equate these two equations. That this is equation for V C. This is equation for V C. Okay. Therefore, let us equate the right hand side of both equations. Therefore, we can write I b into rb plus vb is equal to vcc minus ic into rc and we know that the ib is equal to ic divided by beta okay ib is equal to ic divided by beta let us substitute the value of i b in this equation therefore this equation becomes ic divided by beta into rb plus vb nil equals to the VCC minus IC into RC okay now IC becomes VCC divided by VBE divided by RC plus RB divided by beta when we are in this equation therefore we can find out the value of IC and that is equal to VCC minus VBE divided by RC plus RB divided by beta but here the value of VB is very very small and therefore we can neglect the VB and therefore IC can be written as VCC divided by RL plus RB divided by beta and the um, K beta and K beta is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus beta into RC divided by RB and that is also be equal to the 1 minus IC divided by ice saturation so this is the collector feedback bias and this in the collector feedback bias we can stabilize the q point okay thank you thank you for watching this video